Hey everybody, this is Jaren with Shadow Fox Gaming, and I just got done watching the uh, Xbox press release conference. Uh, it was pretty good. I actually enjoyed it. Um, you could definitely tell a lot of the crowd and stuff wasn't a lot really wowed. Um, so, based on how everything was, how the crowd reacted during a lot of the gameplay, a lot of the game releases and stuff, I'm going to go off and I'm going to go rate it an 8. Um, because... Like I said, they just weren't wowed. Um, some of the games they were pretty wowed on. Some of them, they, a lot of them, they just weren't really wowed on. It's like they're just constantly waiting, waiting, and waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Um, I can understand because it takes a lot of these developers a lot of uh, time and remorse and money to make these. But enough talking. I'm going to go off and I'm going to go read in the, peep, in the purple book right here what I all seen. And I'm going to tell you what I thought about it. Okay, so the first one is going to be a digital-only release of Dance Central Spotlight. That's going to be coming September 2014. Pretty cool. Dance Central, I love it. Next one is going to be Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon was known to be, um, from what I've read in some places, 900p, but they just came out and confirmed it for being 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is pretty cool. And that's going to be released on September 30th, 2014. So that's awesome. Okay, next one we're going to have right here is Evolve on Xbox One is going to get an exclusive beta early. So that's going to be pretty cool. That's going to be coming out fall 2014, the beta. Uh, not the game. The beta will be out. Assassin's Creed Unity. This one right here has kind of a campaign co-op kind of feel to it. Um, that's if you want to have your friends come and join you to help you do with missions and stuff. That thing looked pretty cool. I was really surprised. I was really taken by it because Assassin's Creed Black Flags, I thought that one would look pretty cool. But this one just looks three times better. It blows Assassin's Creed Black Flag out, the, out of the water. Next one we got up on the line is Dragon Age Inqu Inquisition. <laughs> Sorry about that. That's got an October 7th release date. That thing's going to be awesome as hell. Can't wait to play that one. Next one. This is the one I heard a lot of the fans get very excited for. Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive is going to have an eight-player co-op, and it's going to be uh, coming out on Xbox One only September 28th, 2014. So we can make sure you guys go off and keep an eye out for that one. Okay, Dead Rising 3. We all know Dead Rising 3 is, uh, is already out and whatnot, uh, but they have a DLC out today, So and it's going to be a lot of the old Capcom style uh, people and plus uh, some of the old people from the franchises are making a return so go off and go look that up today all right so next one on my list is uh, Disney music um, that's going to be coming out October 21st 2014 so that's pretty cool if you guys have some kids and stuff for your guys connect you guys can use that one next one uh, Fable Legends uh, this one's going for a holiday release Good thing about this one, what I thought was pretty cool, is you can choose to be a, the bad guy. You can actually uh, sow where you guys want to put your traps and whatnot. All of that. That's pretty cool. I, I really enjoyed that one. Okay, so next one after that, we got Project Spark. Project Spark is going to have a multiplayer and a co-op co campaign. The beta is out now. So you guys can go off on the Xbox One uh, store, whatever, whatever you guys call it. Um, go off and go pick that up. Hopefully you guys have fun with that. And plus they had a little Conker's Bad Fur Day kind of ordeal at the end of that. That was pretty cool. I thought that was neat. I haven't seen him in a while. Ori and the, let's see, and the Blind Forest. This one kind of looked like an indie game. Um, I'm not really too sure. I just know you looked like you had this big, kind of, it kind of reminds you of Child of Light ordeal. Uh, that's going to come out with the fall 2014 release date. Uh, no other ones will say that, that. So, this is for all you really big fans. A Halo Master Chief Collection, November 11th, 2014. This is going to have the old style. Um, I know, well, hold on before I get into that. They kept talking about Halo 2, Halo 2, Halo 2. Um, but they're going to have, like, I think it's from Halo... I don't think that was uh, Halo 1 mentioned. I think it was Halo 2, 3... Who knows? I think it could have had Halo 1 in it. But um, it's going to have like the old style multiplayer feeling to it. It looks really neat and yeah, nice and polished. And it's going to also have come with. It's going to have the old style multiplayer. 100 maps. 1080p. 60 frames per second. It's going to come with 4,000 gamer score points. And also the uh, Halo Nightfall series. 
So look, stay open for that on November 11th. That's going to be pretty awesome. Halo 5 is going to have a multiplayer beta uh, December 5th of this year. So make sure you guys keep an eye open for that one. Inside, um, it kind of looked like another indie game. Uh, kind of reminds you of Limbo a little bit. But it's going to have a uh, early 2015 release date. So look, make sure you guys stay open for that one. Rise of the Tomb Raider. This one looked pretty cool. It was a CGI trailer, of course. Uh, but it has a holiday 2015 window. So it looks like we're going to be pretty much waiting another year and a half for that one. But hopefully when it comes out, it's going to be awesome. Phantom Dust. Um, this one, I was kind of a little puzzled on it. Um, it looks pretty cool. But probably maybe something for like the hardcore gamer and, and that kind of ordeal. Um, God. It, 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 you guys just go off and go look at the trailer. I'll let you guys deal with that with yourself. That thing's coming out. It has a 2015 release. Okay, and the next one is the Division. Who I mean, they showed off the Division again. Uh, the Snowdrop engine looked glorious, awesome as hell. Um, that thing's coming hopefully maybe later this year or probably 2015. I think I might have got a release date for 2015. So make sure you guys keep your eyes open for that one. Scalebound. Scalebound kind of looked like, kind of remind me of, um, oh, God, what the heck is that game by Capcom? The ones where you go off and fight the dragons and stuff like that with the online multiplayer. Like a uh, dragon hunter. I think that's what it's called. Monster hunter. Monster hunter. Kind of remind me of Monster Hunter. Uh, you're this character that can, like, equip armor on you with, like, a summon, and then you got your sword. And I noticed the headphones kind of, Weirded me out a little bit. I didn't know what was really going on. Then he plushes the dragon, and I just remember the CGI trailer uh, at the end part. A lot of the other people showed up with Thunder Dragons, and you guys were fighting this like uh, weird tin headed dragon thing. But that was pretty much that. So, like I said, that's got a uh, 2015 release date. And the last one is Crackdown. I'm calling this Crackdown 3 because this would probably be the third one, but it looks like a reboot. Uh, this one actually going to have a 2015 release. Not a whole lot of information was given. Um, so, but like I said, when I when I was watching this, the uh, only thing I've really heard people were wound about was just Sunset Overdrive. Sunset Overdrive probably was one game that took the spotlight for everything. Um, ever, other than that, a lot of people just kind of feel like they were, and you know, just kind of. Waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And a lot of these games they announced, I know, last year. And everybody's still waiting on a lot of these games. But, of course, you know, everybody knows that Xbox always opens up right along with um, Call of Duty and Forza and stuff like that. So, but, yeah, so uh, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to let you guys enjoy your guys' day. Please stay with us later on because I'm going to bring you guys the PlayStation stuff. And I'm going to bring you guys a rating on that. I give this, like I said, I give this an 8 out of 10 on my skill. An 8 out of 10. So, other than that, uh, I'm going to get out of here. Like I said, I'll let you guys enjoy your day. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. All in all, stay classy on YouTube. Jared from Shadow Fox Gaming out, and I'll see you guys in my next video later on today. Peace.